My name is Tina, and I am the wife of a 51-year-old man who passed away from T-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Why isn't my husband alive today when other people fighting the same cancer are alive? I believe that one of those reasons could be because we didn't choose to get a second opinion. When you get that diagnosis, you just want the cancer gone and you want it gone and you want it gone now. The last thing you're thinking is a second opinion or that there's other options. My husband, Ben, was diagnosed with peripheral T-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage 4B, and the recommended treatment was six to eight cycles of CHOP chemotherapy. After six rounds of CHOP chemotherapy, my husband's doctor pulls out this piece of paper. Per this diagram, we've given you CHOP, and now it's time to refer you off for a clinical trial. We were never given this piece of paper when he was diagnosed. Had we been given this piece of paper, we would have read the top half that says the preferred treatment is to go straight to clinical trial. And we were never told that. So perhaps my husband would be alive today had we gone to straight to a clinical trial like other patients who are successful in continuing to fight their cancers, help with research, find a cure for everyone with T-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. My advice to a person who's been recently diagnosed with T-cell lymphoma is to do the research, get a second opinion, contact the T-cell Leukemia Lymphoma Foundation. They have so many resources available to help you get that second opinion. It doesn't matter where you live in the world, they will connect you with someone that can help you get that second opinion and give you life. My hope is that someday there will be a cure. My hope is that that cure will be before I pass. And if not before I pass, before my daughter passes. And for us to be able to experience the announcement in the news, in the medical journals, we found a cure for T-cell lymphoma would be absolutely incredible.